<laughs> that's right. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, but um, we shouldn't talk about people when they're not here. Um, so let's get back to work. Um, so tomorrow quiz 6364. Um, so these, honestly, those that were here yesterday, I lost the, um, the SD card in my whole melee to get home yesterday. Um, so I'm re-recording this so um, JT and River can know what's going on. So quiz tomorrow is just over 6364. Uh, these are the problems. These are the ones that you did on homework that um, I'm going to just make them almost identical to those. Okay. So take a good look at those and make sure you're ready to go. The only formula that I think we'll need to have memorized is the angle between two vectors. Cosine f theta equals u dot v over the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Okay? And like we said yesterday, that comes from the law of cosines. And you can actually see that if I would just back this up one step, you can see that this part right here, that's law of cosines. Now, granted, it's negative two AB, okay? But, um, so this right here is the length of one side, which could be A, the length of the other side, and it all boils out pretty, pretty nice. So you don't need to memorize that, but you can kind of see how they might be related. So there's the formula we need. And let's make this one where nobody has to retake. And, um, and we'll go from there. Okay. Sorry about losing yesterday, but if that's our worst thing. Um, oh, I will show this real quick. This is number 45 that um, one of the students asked yesterday. Um, finding the angles um, on a triangle, giving the three coordinates. So I'll just summarize this real quick. Location, location, location. From here to there, we called U. There's my movement, over five up two. From here to here, we called that V, which is over three up six. And then from here to here, or from here to here, it doesn't matter, two, negative four. That's our movement there for W. And then we just plugged it into the formulas to uh, get the angle between two vectors. So just finding, you don't need to find the length of the sides right away. Just find the movement or the vectors, the displacement of each side, and the X and the Y. And then we can go ahead and plug that in um, to our formula and find out the angles real nice. So. Well, here, anything you guys want to talk about for the good of the group at all? Okay. Um, okay. I will call that good.